Hello and welcome to Badminton Racket Review and to this uh, racket review of the Kampu Power Control CA06. Um, in terms of availability, this will be sold via our racket sales site at www.badminton-racket-review.com. The price is about £30 plus delivery. Okay, so just going through the racket specifications and comparing them to our own E-Zone uh, specification tests. The weight of this racket, it's just a little bit difficult to read. The weight of the racket is 86 plus or minus one gram. The E-Zone testing shows it to be 91.6. Um, the balance point on this racket is 285 plus minus five. The uh, the E-Zone testing shows the balance point to be very head heavy and I can definitely feel that weight towards the head in just holding the racket right here. So no idea where they got their balance point from because that kind of difference is crazy. Um, the stiffness it shows here at 8.5 plus or minus 0.3. The racket review stiffness test shows this to be a medium flex racket. I think that's 100% correct. Maximum string tension, 24 pounds uh, on the strings. This is obviously strung at 25 pounds. Um, and this is 100% made in China as a racket. Yep, made in China. And it is made of carbon graphite. Made of carbon graphite. In terms of the design, um, it's actually not bad. For £30, it's actually really well designed. Uh, it's quite bright. There's a blue version and a pink version, and it's quite bright. Both are on our website for sale. And it's quite nicely designed, to be honest with you. Got nice graphics. There's, there's rackets that are costing four times the amount of th that they're charging for this, with a lot less going on. And it's a good paint job. Nice quality paint job, really clear print. I'm quite impressed with uh, the overall design of the racket. Um, here are some close-up images of the design. Take a look for yourself and see what you think. Okay, specifications are done. Let's go to the E-Zone. Okay, so before we start our E-Zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonix BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on to the smash test. The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Badminton Racket Reviews E-Zone, uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a uh, overall speed. If those two uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head, and also if you go across to the E zone, you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now, which accompanies every single racket within the E zone, so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket.
Okay, now we're gonna do an E-Zone maneuver test. The maneuver shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired, which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests so it's coming at the same speed all the time or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test Okay, so they're done. Now it's E-Zone control test time. The control test is a simplistic test. We've thought many, many times if there was any other better way of creating a test where we, we are uh, looking, focusing on the control of the racket and able to score it, and we so far haven't come up with anything better. So this, con this control test is essentially a test where we have 14 shots taken you're not seeing all the shots um, on the control video we, we generally film half or less of the shots taken the green bucket here scores maximum the gray scores slightly less and anything in the net or out scores nothing at all So what do we think of this racket? Well, it's £30, so this really is to uh, start somebody off uh, with knocking around with a shuttlecock and just learning the basics of badminton, getting your basic shots right. It's heavy, it feels heavy, um, it feels slow to use uh, and doesn't offer any great skills in terms of playability. However, it is a nicely presented racket. Um, so if you're looking to play a basic level and just tip tap around, this is the kind of racket that would work for you. If you're an intermediate player now, this you'd need to move away from these kind of rackets and get to something more serious that's gonna move with the air quicker, offer decent power uh, and defense and so on and so forth. This doesn't offer any of those. Um, there is a full review at the Racket Review E-Zone uh, covering the overhead ability, the drive ability, the smash ability, uh, how much propulsion it has, how much control it has. Um, there will be a video at the end of this video. At the end of all videos, there's a video showing you the E-Zone, how it works. Um, but from our perspective, I think you've got a summary of this racket. It's a beginner's racket um, and it's a nice beginner's racket in terms of the way it's made and presented. In terms of performance, it's basic. Okay, I hope that helps with this racket. Listen, thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to keep leaving your reviews and views on everything we're doing via Facebook, Instagram, uh, or on YouTube. Press the like button, press the share button, and we will see you on the next video.